हेलो 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 वेलकम एवरी वन टू द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ ट्रिकी चेस विथ ट्रिकी स्टैनी फ्रॉम ट्रिकिस्तान फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अपोलॉजीज फॉर चेंजिंग द टाइमिंग इट वॉज सपोज टू बी स्टार एट फाइव बट देन वी मेड एट फाइव थर्टी एंड राइट नाउ वी आर स्लाइटली लेट बट आई एम श्योर दैट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन टूडे इज going to be so nice and you're going to learn so much that this delay and waiting for it would be worthwhile so uh <clears throat> let me know if everything is okay i'll just wait for people to join in before welcoming our president and the founder of trikistan uh but uh, yeah stanny has lost some tricks Okay not Stanny you should you should uh, charge me yeah not Stanny he was right on time as always as is true with the president always very responsible guy so i'm going to now welcome now that a lot of people have joined in i'm going to welcome mr stanny here welcome stanny to the show hi sagar uh- You, have i have i shown you the symbol of trikistan no, no right no 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 it's not wish we wish like this oh how is it so yeah that's the way we wish in uh, trikistan if we meet a person ah so hello to all the trikisans and uh, in fact in cricket they copied the same thing for a third umpire yeah <laughs> it was from trikistan they got this for of course <laughs> yeah. so So, guys i have to tell you today sagar trick me also he said at 5 and then he just messages 5 minutes before can we start half an hour late and then i see his youtube channel it says it's at 6 so now i was confused whether it's at 5:30 <laughs> or at 6 and uh, finally sagar trick you all he earned some tricks but uh, it has nothing to do with the president i am very humble honorable president well well i have to teach all my viewers tricks in every form so this was uh, you know trick on whether what time we are coming like 5 o'clock 5:30 6 <laughs> so finally we came here but but sorry very sorry to everyone uh, and by the way i was saying like so you do in indian style like namaste uh, foreign style is like hi or bye but uh, yeah this is nice mm-hmm. yeah trick is what yep. what is it called trick is the that that's the trick wish trick wish it's the trick wish okay trick wish yeah so basically there is no direct contact no corona nothing so it was <laughs> developed long before <laughs> taking into consideration every development that could happen yes of course okay everyone's doing this i hope uh, and uh, mm-hmm. so stanny any any trivia questions today hmm Oh of course huh. of course i have trivia questions every time yes yes uh so what is the uh, flag in uh, trikistan known as what is the flag in trikistan known as okay very interesting question guys get thinking before you start thinking about the chess positions this is one question for you Okay. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It has something to some connection with Indian flag. If you know what is Indian flag is known as, you can get the. Oh, nice, nice. Got it, got it. It's very simple. Uh, people are saying T lag, T lag. Second, let me see. Try color, Sarang Gupta. Mm-hmm. Tricolor is uh, for Indian flag, right? Indian flag is known as tricolor. Yes. It was a bit bit easy fact. I think they should be able to get it by now. <laughs> flag plus Trikistan is equal to frag. Frag is one suggestion. Uh, tricolor, tricolor, tricky color. By just trick tri- color. That that okay. Okay, that was very close. Trick color. Trick color. Okay. T R I C O L O U R. Trick color. amazing amazing and and what is the national anthem of trikistan that's what i mean next time stanny if you have prepared it you need to sing or you have, or if it's already ready you can sing it now it's no we are not supposed to because if i sing everyone has to stand up oh. i don't want to tire people <laughs> so it's a very respectable song 
so i cannot sing it uh, on youtube street okay you guys have to come and come to trickistan by the way one more question hmm. what is the religion hey, uh, hey, majority hey. religion in pakistan there is a nice suggestion by anaga who says trick ranga like three ranga you make it trick ranga yeah that is also nice okay what is the religion what is the religion? religion okay what is the religion in trickistan man trickistan known as okay we have our own religion <laughs> trindu trindu or truslim <laughs> 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 Too many options. Let's see what guys come up with. The the session is so tricky, you know. Before ah, everyone is saying national anthem is Gadi Wala. Have you heard this song, Shani Gadi Wala? Yeah, yeah. So, like <laughs> these guys were dancing. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah, that was really fun. Okay. Uh, trick chess. Religion is trick chess. Says Mayur Gondalekar. uh then mm-hmm. what is it chess is the only religion that's what shreyas gs says no no we have an official religion trickism mr max yes. yeah that's spot on trickism, trickism. wow fantastic yeah. mr max you just that's earned it. yourself lot of tricks also vasant roy atri chatterjee and dhanush ram very nice trickism yeah the trickism basically works on a principle that the more you trick the faster you attain nirvana or uh, moksha <laughs> well well uh, i i really want to come to trickistan because you know here in uh, in normal world getting nirvana is yeah. very tough you know you you don't eat food you you kind yeah. of pray you meditate so yeah, mu- so much that. problem sounds, sounds very boring yeah <laughs> okay fantastic so any more yeah. questions or shall we begin with chess well the question will keep coming in between the positions okay. otherwise people will think <laughs> this is only something to in trickistan no chess <laughs> yeah 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 let's let's begin but before we begin i would like to tell the viewers oh vishnu sir is in the chat where is vishnu prasanna is uh, he says stanny is saro student look at the books behind him saravanan student wow of course of course by the way i this is one question i was going to ask today but uh, probably i didn't ask at the beginning huh. like one of the general knowledge question among indian chess youtubers hmm. which uh, youtube channel do you think is very underrated this was one of my question which was going to be yeah any answer guys trishnu prasanna <laughs> okay <laughs> since uh, no i wish no was here actually that's the answer uh, guys uh, i would like to say follow vishnu's channel yeah i think i just uh, saw a few videos and uh, the concepts he's explaining is uh, very nice uh, i saw one video yesterday the uh, how machine thinks and uh, how human thinks it was very instructive so i think guys if you want to learn something interesting concept you should definitely check out uh, vishnu's channel oh, yeah fantastic okay guys please check out vishnu's channel uh, definitely recommended content as tani said and a uh, couple of super chats J- uh, jadeja vijay singh gana divas pachi sagar bhai kem cho maja ma maja ma vijay singh ji very nice bahut saru lagyu tamne mali ne stani i'm talking gujarati ha if someone super chats me in gujarati i speak in gujarati aha uh-huh. hmm, that's the point and sagar okay, gupta speaking of language speaking of language one more question sagar <laughs> from uh, an ancient indian language huh. in trickistan we in, we got an inspiration and we made our own language can you name the language it is inspired from a uh, ancient indian language okay so what's the language in trickistan inspired by an ancient indian language sarang gupta yes. says thanks for all these lovely streams thank you sarang so much for being here Vishnu Prasanna has thanked you Stanny and by the time people think I would like to say that Stanny has made a very nice product uh, a chess product which is to teach you how to play chess right from a very 
basic level and it goes all the way up till 1400 to 1500 level and the course is known as connect course uh, and the link is in the description so guys all those who are interested just check it out once it would be very nice yeah okay abhijit mishra thank you for putting in stanis uh, vishnu's channel and also if you can put in stanis product link that would be very nice uh, so the qu answer to your question has been trickskrit uh, transkrit uh-huh trindi <laughs> trick read <laughs> are what answers are trick script tricks tricky sanskrit <laughs> what, what do you think sagar <laughs> very tricks trick script uh, seem nice yeah trick script okay shall i tell yeah it's sans trick Sa oh sans trick oh yo people got it Wait, 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 wait. There are people I thought. Yeah, yeah. Arpan, Merotra, Siddharth Shah, S. Murugan, Mr. Max. Okay. They are not bad. Sanskrit. Fantastic, yeah. guys. So, Sanskrit is the most popular language in our country. <laughs> Sanskrit. <laughs> oh, today's everything was hilarious. Sanskrit and <laughs> this way to wish. And what was the, the religion was okay. Trickism. Well, one more thing. I was, yeah. I was very much amused. Which ah yeah, if you follow trickism, you get nirvana. Yeah, <laughs> if, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. trick your opponents. Okay, so time to yes. get closer to nirvana, Stani. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, question about chess, not tricky okay, stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, if uh, I if I ask you to compare uh, bishop with a gun, hmm. which gun comes to your mind? bishop with a gun okay yeah very difficult so guys if you were asked to uh, compare bishop to a gun then which gun comes to mind very interesting question yeah probably all pubg players will be able to tell pubg counter strike <laughs> chat uh, shank says chat is stronger than 10 gms well sort of you yeah can i agree Ch because chat is mentally prepared to become a tricky son the 10 gms are working on proper chess <laughs> <laughs> and and as i as i've always maintained and i think it was told by rajabov in one of the ch uh, streams that chat knows mm -hmm. everything you ask any question yes. in the world any yeah. chat will give you an answer yeah. And a right answer. Someone yes. will be there. Yeah. Okay, so uh, answer Dante. is uh, AK-47. Is Someone says M24, AWM, CAR-98, AWP, Sniper, Shotgun. Oh my God. I didn't know my chat knew so many guns. Flare gun, yeah. <laughs> Bazooka, Desert Eagle, Battery Sniper. Oh, what is this? Many weaponary dealers are here also. <laughs> My God, the list doesn't end. I thought there will be like two, three answers and everyone will be like, oh, we don't yeah. know what guns are there and all. I was yeah. going to say oh, some... Things are I was going to say laser gun or something like this. Okay. Okay, my, my observation is uh, sniper. Yeah, sniper. Like, yeah, Bishop has this... Uh, and this will be our topic for uh, today. Like, sniper effects of Bishop... And also queens, uh, probably bishop most of the time, but the, the queen also has same power. So the topic which we are going to discuss today is sniper. Uh, guys, it can be other guns also. I am not uh, an expert on gun. <laughs> I just know basic few guns and I know sniper. So this is just my opinion. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vishnu, I'm also worried. <laughs> Vishnu says he's worried. So many people in the chat know so many guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay okay right. so by the way stanny last time the second session was about knights so this time about bishops mm -hmm. yes yeah yeah it will be more or less about uh, bishops, uh, bishops and, this, and queens the five portions which are yeah okay okay so this is a portion which was uh, which uh, happened between uh, dubo and karyakin from uh, recent lindores abbey and uh, as you can see, Dubo was completely winning. Hmm. 
and uh, yeah so here uh, karyakin uh, managed to trick him so guys uh, the first question can you uh, find a tricky move here for black for black yeah okay black to move by the way <laughs> this is completely winning but uh, basically karyakin tricked uh, dubo yeah okay uh, kishan ganguly is here he says nca raid what is nca okay nca is basically uh, nalanda chess academy from uh, where uh, we all learn chess ah. so all the players from nalanda academy they follow the the stream and uh, they enjoy and yeah i have to specially thank my first coach uh, shri krishna udupa who taught me chess yes otherwise yes. i don't think all this tricky stan tricky stan thing would have happened <laughs> Uh, i must also say i have met uh, shri krishna udupa uh, sir he is uh, really a very very inspirational personality uh, he he has visu- yep. h- visual impairment but he has not let that come in between him and becoming a great trainer so uh, and we are very thankful to him that he could create a player like stanny also kishan ganguly is a student and many more for sure Yes, yeah. Abhijit. Uh, Dubo was black here. Yeah. Sorry, Dubo was white. Black Dubo is Karyakin. Yeah. Okay. So everyone says D four. D four. Everyone has suggested the mode D four. Okay. Perfect. We are all the. We are on the way to become all trickisans, right? Yeah. 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 So D four is what uh, uh, Karyakin played, and this was his uh, last trick. uh which actually worked out very well uh, the point is if you take uh, bishop d4 there is a uh, queen e4 check and it's winning yeah for black right you lose the rook yeah yeah and uh, dubo immediately played uh, queen d4 okay and now comes queen g6 check okay and now the and, king uh, has few squares to go to yeah yeah now so guys uh, what is the best square for the king to go to okay so you have four options king h1 king h3 yes. king f1 king f3 where do you go yeah two of them works two of them doesn't work so that's the tricky part uh stanny abhijit says he is pretty sure dubo was black Mm really I I have mentioned Dubo Karyakin. So it is Dubo who won this game. Yeah, that's what he's saying. I don't know if I have this game in my uh, mega yeah, data. Yeah, you can sir. Uh, well, if you are Yeah, yeah, I have. Is, I have. Uh, have ah, you have Ah, Karyakin is white, Dubo is black. Man. Ah, uh, that was Thank God we have uh, Well, well, well. Stanny, you are tricking us also with the names. Thank God we have Abhijit in the chat abhijit thank you for <laughs> so, so so abhijit is anti trickster <laughs> tricks won't work against him that's the problem so so how how are you as a leader stanny because you know many leaders when pointed out their mistake like you are the president of trickistan mm-hmm. and when you are pointed out mistake mm-hmm. they don't like it what about you i know in general what i say is uh, i just trick them that's it <laughs> i was just trying to trick them so this was my way of uh, tricking people so dubo was basically black which i knew but uh, you know i was trying to trick people okay nice nice <laughs> you cannot trick stanny so everyone says a uh, lot of lot of moves here king f3 and king h3 are the suggestions uh mm-hmm. i don't know why everyone lot of people also saying king f1 but no one is saying king h1 mm-hmm. i think everyone saw the problem with okay. king h1 yeah yeah in fact uh, karyakin also saw the problem with uh, king h1 i guess because that was obvious right like you see queen c6 check it's the same threat yeah you are in the same uh, deck so yeah so king h1 is a bit obvious and uh, for all those who guessed king h3 or uh, king f3 that's the right answer that, that's the way to go Fantastic. although it's a bit uh, uncomfortable right sagar like king h3 you take it there there is yeah. still some queen g4 queen e6 check or queen f5 check yeah if you go uh, so king actually h3 the, yeah. the more uh, precise uh, way as far as i remember is king f3 which is what engine suggests 
but king h3 is equally winning like you just bring king near the center and there is always queen e4 check to interpose right so like if yeah. you give a check here yes. there is check and you get a yeah counter. there's always queen yeah and this should be winning and uh, yeah karyakin uh, basically fell for a trick here and he lost the game which was a tragedy because after all he was clearly winning yeah uh, so guys can you write what did uh, karyakin miss uh so do bow to play now black to move what do you play here yeah yeah very very good uh, ilam party <laughs> Yatnesh Singh. Okay, at the end of the stream, I will tell you my tricky love story. But maybe Stanley will tell his story. Let's see. Let's see. We will we will tell something at the end of the stream. Varad Walde, you are right. King F one, Queen A six, check is the correct move. Yeah. Oh, Abhijit Gupta says this was suggested by Grishchuk during live commentary. Okay. So, uh -huh. Shank. Yeah, I just saw the game after, and yeah, it was very tragic. that he lost like this yeah everyone is right queen a6 brilliant move long moves are always sometimes missed uh, not always sometimes sometimes missed uh yeah check and and uh, it's more like again a sniper attack basically yeah right so i i like to, i'd like to call this sniper because uh, it's like long range attack and uh, there's always something in the air and it's actually very similar to the one the bishop g2 shot which i showed you in the previous example right it's somewhat similar right if i check and absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah so this was the second one very nice example guys uh, get ready for the third one this one is oh stanny has got all the recent examples which is very nice because he's not relying on yeah. any books or any material already published he is doing his own research Yeah. Yeah. Uh, P Pranshu so Sina, uh, Stani Pranshu mm -hmm. Sina asks, is Dubo a citizen of Turkestan? Have you given him membership? No, actually, I am waiting for Firoza to apply first, uh, <laughs> and then uh, Dubo probably is in top five list, but Firoza will be definitely the first guy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So black to move. Yes. Here, what's what's the story behind this? Okay, this was uh, played between uh, Tan Zongi and uh, Elizabeth. How do they pronounce Elizabeth? Pates. Pates. Or, uh, Pates. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So black here is uh, completely lost, hmm. and uh, Elizabeth Pates uh, tried the last trick in the book. Again, it involved uh, two bishops. Uh, and here uh, it is there's also knight which which we discussed in the last uh, episode yeah knight near the king yeah knight is not and, so far uh, from the king it is quite close yeah yeah actually this is not very difficult example but this is uh, one of the very unique uh, draws i have seen very similar to buxianzi game against uh, uh, joffrey zion yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. here uh, black is an exchange down and black played bishop d1 check Okay. Okay, guys. Now, if you interpose it with any of the minor pieces, let's say knight e2 or bishop e2, it's just clearly winning. Hmm. But uh, my question is different this time. What is the move? <laughs> what is a square huh. which is uh, losing? Uh, Mind. Yeah. What is a square which white shouldn't enter? Okay. That that's what you have to write. Write the square. So you mean to say g two f two e three? These are the two squares. E two, yeah. And one yeah. of them is mined from this. One of them is mined. Yeah. The bomb will explode. So basically, which square is mined? Okay. So uh, Ilam Parthi, this is not women's SCC. This is from Stenitz Memorial, twenty twenty, uh, between yeah. Tan Zongi and Elizabeth Pates. Chess with Snehit is asking, "What is Turkestan?" Did not understand. Chess with Snehit, you you have to go back to the uh, first lecture and study it well. So you cannot ask a question okay. here. What is Turkestan? Okay, okay, guys, I have to tell you one more uh, secret, which will be coming up in the next uh, two episodes. So uh, 
in the next episode i'll be asking a question mm-hmm. based on the uh, uh, all four episodes like there will be one particular question and uh, whoever answer it answer it correct uh, whoever finds the right answer will be getting a gift from uh, trickistan okay wow yeah and uh, in the final episode uh, uh, i want to do it like kahoot where uh, everyone can commit basically it was inspired from the episode uh, magesh chandran did with uh, sagar yeah uh, guys you should check out uh, kahoot special which was very nice and very enjoyable where everyone can commit so my idea is to finish the finale with kahoot where uh, you know there will be all tricky moves on your way and you have to guess it with the right time and the winners will be given gift okay so lot of uh, exciting stuff sir man stanny you i have to learn so much from you how to make things exciting but you know i'm just a humble citizen of earth or you can say india yeah. and you are the president of yeah. trikistan so of course of course much more superior See, being a, being a president we have all these tricky ideas <laughs> which uh, i'm sure uh, you guys will get it everyone you know lot of people in the chat have found that king e3 is the mind square does it is not a good square to yes. go to yeah so and this is what uh, happened in the game that's the only square we should which you should not play any other moves is just winning here and uh, black fell for sorry white fell for this and uh, yeah now the draw is uh, very nice very pictorial yeah, yeah. knight g4 check you have both your snipers there covering most of the squares and with knight they are creating a magic yeah so uh, now and, knight f2 uh, has to move yeah. here and then back and, and it's a draw from a completely winning position you have to end the game in a draw So this was uh, v- very similar to that knight f2 knight h3 check draw of uh, Bookshianzi and uh, uh, Jafrizi. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, if bishop d1, if you play king g2, that was winning. Also, I guess king f2 was sufficient. Yeah. King f2 also should. Yeah. But king e3 is just lost. Okay, very nice, very nice, Danny. It's, it's a draw. It's a. Ah, sorry, it's a draw. Yeah. It's a draw. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the fourth position here. Yeah. Okay, that was a bit simple. Now comes uh, a little more complicated one. Hmm. And this time it's from World Champion. Many of you might have seen this game, but for those who didn't, it's a very instructive one. Uh Okay. Yeah. So guys, this was uh, a game between Swidler and Carlson again from uh, Stenitz Memorial. and uh, it's white to play here now my question is what is objectively the best move for white in this game uh, in this position okay white to move what is objectively the best move okay think of it everyone saying please take care of the time delay in kahoot yes i think we'll do something about that for sure uh, we will give you extra time for every question uh, and uh, mm-hmm. make sure that you can answer <clears throat> Yeah, I'll I'll first take Magesh blessing and then I'll do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Magesh is like amazing. He he brought such amazing cahoots uh, to that stream. Yeah. Okay, so this is Swidler versus Carlson Stenitz Memorial and okay, uh, the answer that is being given is Bishop D four by Divya H L. Uh, Rook B8 by Jancy Wilson, Bishop mm-hmm. D4 by Shanks, Rook G4. Pragnanand, uh, sorry, Ilam Parthi says intuition. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rook D8, Abhinandan Naik. No, not Rook D8 cannot be played. I don't know uh, how he is saying that. Uh, Alvin Lee, BD4. So BD4, Rook G4, okay. and Rook B8. These are the three moves. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Sagar? What What could be mm, the best? I haven't thought seriously, but I was thinking if Rook B8, then isn't D4 mm-hmm. an issue? You know, D4 blocking that bishop uh, already seems dangerous. Yeah. So Bishop D4 In first. In fact, that can do that. Yeah. If you go here, yeah. then D4 might be very strong. 
so bd4 or yeah. rook g4 both look okay yeah objectively speaking if you check with the engine the best move here is to play rook g4 very nice yeah uh, the point is uh, i mean bishop d4 looks more natural but the problem is uh, rook c7 for bishop d4 and uh, it's difficult for white to do something about this mm. like i'm threatening c3 now and uh, what are you going to do exactly it's not so obvious how to continue yeah have to go back maybe yeah. and then you can repeat perhaps yeah then they, they can repeat yeah so objectively speaking rook g4 was a better uh, move but okay in the game uh, swidler uh, played uh, bishop d4 and no, uh, as i said yeah, yeah. Uh, rook c7 yeah as i said rook c7 was the best move but uh, carlson just saw that he can take the pawn on b4 and uh, he just went for it so he took bishop b4 mhm okay guys now what did Swid swidler have in mind behind this pawn sack so you have to write two moves so not not, not a single move right the answer right two moves. yeah find two moves here and white to move uh, swidler yeah usually carlson is the one who tricks everyone but this time it was swidler who tricked carlson so yeah. let's see if you can get yeah. it abhijit gupta says very nice mating pattern which was also played in carlson karyakin world championship match very nice yeah 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 that's true I just had a question for Abhijit. When is he going to come up with a series like this? Abhijit, we need more tricks. Abhijit, Abhijit also is also very tricky. Player. I am going to do a series with Abhijit, which is like how to win your last round games and become champion of tournaments. This is what is the idea. Yeah, that would be so. Crazy. Because he is yeah. always winning one event after another, and he is tired of me always asking him how he does it. So it's a good way of uh, doing these streams. just make a series yeah <laughs> mm. ilam parthi has got the right answer also a lot of other people uh, dhanush ram <clears throat> shiv shom uh, as always sushmita chakrabarti well done dwarad walde kashyap mehta but guys don't give just one move give give the complete line no one move yeah oh look at who's in the chat who's in the chat It's our uh, very favorite GM, Lalit Babu, here. Oh my, <laughs> Lalit! I don't know if you saw the last video, but I had to show our own game. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Exactly, that was amazing. Oh, Samay Raina in the chat. Samay Raina says, "Glad to see you back, Tricky Stani." Sagar, check WhatsApp whenever you find time. Okay. Yes, yes, Samay will join. Will join. Okay, will join. Samay and Sagar are so busy that they had to communicate <laughs> through YouTube stream <laughs> through super chats. Samay is like Sagar, please eat food. Here's your super chat. And I'm like, oh, I had to eat food. Okay. <laughs> okay, Samay uh, is going to have a great stream at seven o'clock today. Flying Beast is going to be on his stream. A very famous vlogger. Uh, and guys, uh, standing back to chess. Rook b8 is suggested. Yes, yeah, I think most of them found. Yeah, rook b8. Yeah, everyone found it. King f7 is impossible because of rook g7. Rook g7. Bishop yeah. f8, I think, doesn't so, work because of bishop c5. Is it true or no? Yeah, yeah, bishop c5. Yeah. And then rook f7. And I think now you go rook to e6 probably. If I remember correctly, just wait. Yeah, and then, um, mm, yeah. No, no. Or bishop c5, bishop c8. Oops. I think it was rook c8. After bishop f8, bishop c5, rook f7. Bishop c5, rook f7. Uh, probably rook uh, c8. Yeah, and it's more like a zugzwang now. The point is, I'm going to play rook b6. Okay. And if whenever you play c3, I have bishop f8. Hmm. Uh, yeah. And then you win this pawn. Reminds me of Stefansson yeah. game somehow. You know, Stanny, I'm I have seen so many tricks of your game. Now it reminds me of your games every time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you had to tell me this. Whenever you analyze, 
you you will say this term no trick hmm. that time it reminds you of uh, tricky stan episodes right tell me the truth sir which one which one yes sir whenever you you will be analyzing with someone ah. and the, suddenly you say there is a yeah yeah, yeah yeah of course will you remember suddenly tricky stan episodes? every time someone tricks uh, me or tricks his opponent i'm like oh maybe he saw stanis video <laughs> yeah okay guys w- w- one more question what is the most often used word uh, when two chess players analyze okay so so stanny before you are going to ask this question the point is uh, in the game mm-hmm. king at 7 was played and now white to move yeah like let's let's give them a task to think yes, yes. so white to move here guys okay. think of a trick here in this position and also think of stanny's question which is which is the most used move uh, used uh, word when two chess players analyze yeah. okay not easy Uh, Akhilesh Kukreja says blunder. Ryan's desk says trick. BFF Jashan says takes takes takes. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, exchange chess trick takes. This is the these are the answers I see in the chat. Okay. What what about the chess answer? First, okay, guys, first write the chess position answer. Then we'll come to the word. <laughs> Okay, rook in. Uh, everyone says f4. Uh, yeah, they had already mentioned it before. F4, yeah. and their idea is something very devious. Yeah. Stanny, you need to explain this move f4. What's the point? Yeah. So guys, all this can happen. All these ideas will work. All thanks to that d4 bishop, which is a sniper. Right. So that's my whole. Uh, a uh, basis behind choosing this if that bishop was not there okay some people may argue if there is a queen but that's a different thing basically this is all about sniper effect and you have the sniper right there on the center and uh, now the point is uh, white has this uh, devilish move rook into h6 and funny thing is this cannot be stopped and uh, carlson missed this in the game and after uh, yeah f4 uh, C3 rook into h6. Is, is there is there no way to stop? Like for example, in the game, Carlson played C3, and there came takes, yeah. takes and mate. Yeah, like <clears throat> he resigned yeah. after rook h6. But <clears throat> is there no way to stop this now? Probably he can play something like uh, no, not possible. Yeah, even bishop c5 is met with rook into h6. Yeah. So I don't think. Oh so. Oh my god! What a what a brilliant move here f4 actually guys yeah. so how i think how you get this trick is you think of rook into h6 in this position and you see oh g into h6 yeah. rook h8 is a mate and then you ask yourself oh yeah. king h6 rook h8 but the king is running away from here so let's block that square and you play f4 here first very nice trap by so, swidler yeah. very nice trap beautiful position stanley yeah, yeah this was fantastic and uh, as uh, abhijit gupta pointed out uh, the same trick rook into h6 uh, was played between uh, magnus and karyokin in uh, world championship match also which was also very instructive yeah yeah absolutely yeah so for those who are interested can check it out yeah abhijit gupta says i have a question for stanley <laughs> time to s- okay. switch the roles okay abhijit okay. go on Yeah. How did Carlson miss this trick when he himself had played it earlier? <laughs> okay, the answer is uh, though Carlson is very tricky guy, he hasn't visited Trickistan. So he is yet to reach that enlightenment. <laughs> no nirvana yet, yeah, for Carlson. No nirvana yet. He needs moksha prapti. <laughs> <laughs> okay so abhijit i hope you got your answer yeah. uh, by the way guys all yeah. those who were uh, curious about carlson karyakin game um, sorry it was yeah carlson karyakin 2016 match so check that out last game last move of the match brilliant move okay let's yeah. go to the so guys uh, now back to this back to that question which is the most often used word when two chess players analyze Ah yeah 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 we forgot we forgot 
Yeah, Lalit, you are right. That was queen at six. Check. That was the move. Um, so, what is the most used move? I think a lot of people had said chess, takes, takes, uh, chess, and uh, I don't know. There were position was also one move that was used. Okay. What's the answer? What's your opinion, sir? <laughs> From your observation. Uh -huh. Like you would have seen so many players analyze, right? Mm. Uh, what do you think is the most uh, often repeated word when two chess players analyze? I would say the statement is always "I was winning," <laughs> but what? <laughs> but <laughs> okay, that that will come probably uh, once or twice. Uh, okay, can I can I tell? Yeah, tell me. <clears throat> okay, the answer is uh, idea. Idea. Okay. Just, just uh, keep observing players. Idea or plan, it's, it's more or less same. So keep observing players. Every move they'll tell this. Like this was my idea. This was my plan. Yeah. And from my experience, who I have seen analyzing, this is one of the most uh, common used uh, terms um, when chess players <laughs> analyze. This was my idea. That was my. <laughs> yeah. That was a trick question because I expected everyone will say <laughs> trick. But that's not easy. Yeah, again a trick question by Stanny, but this time a very serious answer. And now next time you see two chess players analyzing, check the words they are using. Yeah. Idea, plan, if they use yeah. it. <coughs> Abhijit yeah. is saying, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it's used a lot. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, right. so, what's this here, Stanny? Now comes the... Now comes the final uh, position, which I find it very interesting one. Uh, uh, okay, guys, uh, a question. How many of you analyze your online games and uh, do you find it useful? Stanny, I always, I always games, tell like, them also. to analyze, to save all their games that they play. And that is what I recommend. Yeah. But I don't know how many people do that. So that's a good question. Let's see the chat. How many people save all your games mm. in... Uh, uh, which you play online, you know, that's the question here. Yeah. Akhilesh says, yes, I analyze the game. BFF Jashan says, yes, he analyzes. Uh, okay. Who else, guys? Yeah, everyone says, I always, I always, I, I sometimes do that. Have started doing so after attending Saga session, says Mayur. Good. Sujata Muttu Kumar says it's useful. Nihilesh says me. Deshna Singh says I analyze. Uh, Ilam Parthi says I never. I never do it. Ilam Parthi, that's very bad. Come on. I'll un I'll yeah. unmod you. But okay, Ilam, Ilam Parthi is uh, Ilam Parthi is very honest. Yeah, that, I like so that. Some tricks for his honesty though. I like that honesty in him, but. Ilam yeah. Parthi, uh, you shouldn't uh, neglect this. Save your games. Like, see, Tricky Stanny has done it. He saved his game and now that's a position for you all. Yeah. <coughs> so, guys, this is one trick, uh, like, how you can improve your own chess. Try to analyze your uh, online games as well. You will find way more tricky positions uh, compared to your regular chess because there you will have a lot more time to think. Whereas here you have to play with, most of the time you have to play with your uh, intuition. Mm. So, analyzing online games will always help you find interesting positions. Okay. And uh, this is one very interesting position which I had against uh, Sankalp Gupta, who, who is an IM. And uh, we played this in uh, some practice tournament, uh, which was conducted by Swayams. And uh, we just had this position. And I was black here, white was uh, Sankalp. Mm -hmm. I played uh, Queen C3 check. And uh, here he had a decision to make. As you can see, in the 8th rank, my bishop is pinned. And uh, it's, yeah, whenever I move, there is threat on uh, f8. So the pro but uh, I have already like 3 pawns as compensation. So if I play something like g6, I can even give the bishop. And uh, I don't think uh, black will lose here. So here he had a decision to make. You either go to the queen side. Uh, like with king d1 and staying there, you will be given perpetual checks, but uh, probably you will have to accept a draw. Otherwise, you can play king f1, king g2 and, uh, you know, try to escape to the king side. Try to find a shelter there and uh, 
if possible uh, you have a pawn so you can try to win that position so he had these options okay now so guys this is a question one side is uh, better compared to other one uh, which side do you think he should go okay so the question is should you go this side or on d1 or should you go yeah. to f1 yeah abhijit gupta says king d1 okay uh let's see what else uh, mm-hmm. people say here omkar chakradev says uh how about if queen f6 and queen d8 no attack right that's what he was saying but maybe then you have bishop a6 no well, uh-huh. yeah exactly so when you go queen f6 queen d8 there is always bishop a6 so it's like white will anyway gain the bishop yeah uh shiv shom as always has the entire variation which i like very much he says if king f2 then queen mm-hmm. c5 uh and bd7 mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. if uh, king f1 then queen f6 queen d8 but, so he says king d1 is the right move but maybe it's not complete yeah like king f1 queen f6 king g2 queen d8 and bishop a6 yeah like black can also white can also try to win yeah. that right because you have a pawn so it's a decision to make here and it it was not very easy yeah so what happened in the game what's the right answer so in the in the game uh, he went uh, king f1 mm. uh let's let's just go through the game and then you will find out uh, uh, wh- what was a better decision and uh, i gave queen f6 check he played king g2 again if he had gone king e1 most likely i would have given the queen c3 check but uh, yeah king g2 was his main logic he wanted to play for the win and uh, i played uh, queen d8 and uh, he played bishop a6 mm-hmm. under pressure yeah you are now under a lot of pressure so guys you have to find a tricky move here Ooh, yeah. so here you what a move a what a move what a move loved it okay i found it let's see how how quickly people find it daksh agarwal congratulations okay. for getting 92.4% in board exams i think anyone who passed the board exams i should congratulate you but uh, anyone who got so many marks very good very good but those who don't get good marks don't worry yeah it's not the end of life stanny how much you get in 10th grade Okay I have to before telling my marks I have to tell you those who didn't get good marks are all always welcome in tricky stuff <laughs> because they'll be more tricky <laughs> Yeah good good so uh what, what what was your score Oh my score uh I I don't remember I, I think you are a good student yeah like you always used to score heavily Yeah it's embarrassing to say my marks because I always wanted wanted to be a bad student <laughs> like uh, saying a bad marks looks more cool yeah for tricky stan president yeah okay i i scored like uh, i think 87 okay 87 not bad and everyone has found the right move stanny here bishop b7 is what they are saying what a move yeah brilliant i i am in fact missed this move you know comedy is we were discussing about sniper right bishop and sniper and in this position bishop becomes a shotgun ah shotgun yeah because it moves just one square so i like to call this a shotgun problem uh yeah so bishop b7 was incredible move which actually both of us missed mm. in the game i played uh, queen a5 but then it was uh, it ended in a draw because you, you can just show So I played queen a5, rook into c8. Now I took queen into e2, king h3. Now the point is, uh, I cannot defend that c6 pawn. Like I cannot uh, take rook into c8, so I have to play queen uh, a3, and I lose c6. Yeah. Pawn. And after this, uh, yeah, it is not easy to make progress. Eventually, the game ended in a draw. Yeah. I mean it's a long game yeah. but now now if you come back to the starting position now going by that logic it is more obvious that you have to go king d1 
so that you don't allow this whole trick of queen uh, d8 and uh, queen uh, queen f6 and uh, mm. queen d8 so king d1 and now uh, white is i would have taken a draw here actually queen uh, d4 check yeah anything king you can just play king d2 yeah queen a1 now you can play even yeah. king d2 queen a1 king d2 queen d4 check king e1 should end in a draw yeah okay yeah so by that logic uh, it's just that going to g2 it's a mistake uh, right right so this was all about uh, bishop fantastic sniper power and uh, sometime you had to think about shotgun power also so that Brilliant. was a trick guys so whenever you have bishops always watch out for these kind of sniper tricks from long diagonal there will be some threats coming so just keep this in mind so bishop going on the long diagonal is a sniper bishop moving on short diagonals uh, like this uh, is a shotgun is a okay. shotgun brilliant Stanny, yeah. you are helping us learn yeah. so many things apart from chess. We could not be more grateful. By the way, mm -hmm. guys, uh, if you enjoyed the way Stanny is teaching, you know, there is a link to the course he has built up uh, on Connect Courses uh, in the description. So please check it out. It is. It would be very, very useful to you. And Stanny, uh, anything uh, interesting you have to say about the course that you have made? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, recently, a friend uh, who who was from uh, Nalanda Chess Academy, like uh, we just spoke about, he just uh, messaged me. He lives in okay. Germany, and uh, he just messaged me that I saw your course, like I saw the advertise of your course. I want to buy ten courses, and uh, is it possible if you can uh, uh, distribute it to those who are underprivileged and those who cannot afford so that i want wow. to spread chess and that was a wonderful uh, gesture i told this to the company people and they said if if he is doing a charity then we are happy to double the number so if he is giving if he is buying for 10 people we are happy to give it wow. to 20 so the motive was like 20 players are introduced to chess and they nice. learn something uh, yeah in fact they are uh, looking to give it to some orphanage where it is uh, like where there is tablet uh, learning is mm. enabled right so basically the point is chess is uh, spread to more people and more children come to this game so i was very satisfied and uh, yeah his name is santosh so i would like to thank santosh and also people at connect for uh, such a nice uh, yeah, yeah yeah absolutely i think uh, once you make something which is of good value like stanny has done this course it can be used for so many good reasons and one of them is to help yeah. people learn chess so guys you don't need to buy it just for yourself you can also get it for someone who wants to learn chess and stanny Thank you so much. Uh, Akshay Mohan says, yet another awesome video on tricks. Thank you, Stanny, for these. Uh, it was invaluable. Thank you, Sagar. Okay, guys, I, I have to tell you this again. Like in the next episode, I'll be asking an important question uh, based on the last uh, four episodes, okay. like including that one. So there will be some important uh, questions coming up with uh, gifts. Uh, waiting for you from Trikistan. So, and the final episodes will have a blast with uh, Kahoot. So, get ready and uh, learn more tricks. Be prepared to win the round and amazing, get the amazing. Stanny, thanks for doing this. I think our next session may be held on Monday, not Saturday, perhaps. But we will decide and uh, announce well in advance so that all of you can be a part of it. Okay. Sorry. And thanks to Abhijit Gupta, Vishnu and Lalit and uh, all these uh, top players for joining. I hope uh, they'll buy my course and improve the <laughs> basics. <laughs> Maybe asking for a bit too much. Uh, Yatnish Singh has just sent a super <laughs> chat saying, Love the way Trick Stani explains positions and Sagar sir, time for proposal story, please. Okay, okay. Stani, you want to wait for the proposal story yeah. or you want to do something else? Of course, of course, I can, I can wait. I, I'm sure uh, Abhijit and all are waiting for your proposal. They're not here for my chess. 
I'm sure they want to hear your proposal. So I'd also like to learn something uh, okay. interesting. Okay, I'm going story. to place you up over here so that I can show some stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, how does this work? Let me open a new uh, tab here and also okay so okay so here and if you put here sagar sha chess jab we met okay I think love story just just type mm -hmm. on Google you know and then you will find this first link Jab we met and then you will see the love story so basically a writer never keeps anything in dark everything is public so here is my love story so this is me this is Amruta we are in Goa but this is the picture how did it begin uh, on July 16 2013 I got engaged to Amruta but before that uh, what happened in the story is here this is Amruta when she was in 2005 uh, this was me you know very very geeky look always studying very busy studying uh, <laughs> in my life uh, and then you know I tried to be smart in 2005 just 15 years old that's me with my brother Chick -mag. <laughs> Chick -mag and this is Prathamesh Amruta's uh, brother also an international master and a fantastic chess player now a chess coach and actually he was the reason why Amruta and I spoke first time because I he was my opponent he he uh, beat me and the game went on for such a long time that Amruta had to wait and she waited for her brother to finish the uh -huh. game and then I spoke to her and that's how we met uh, but the story is that I wrote a, a poem for a girl whom I had given a rose in college the girl did not like in the college uh -huh. but Amruta liked it so uh, Amruta said oh nice this guy has written a good poem although she didn't know me and then uh, somehow she told me and I started liking her uh, and, but I thought you know four years elder to me she is four years elder to me but then I remembered okay Sachin's story mm. also elder to four years elder and then we met in Kolkata we met we played tournaments together uh, Mumbai local we traveled once together uh, uh, sorry, th this is Sampark Kranti to Delhi. We traveled together. Then in Air Marshal Subroto, we met in Delhi. This was uh, a great event. Uh, we spoke a lot on the phone. And finally, uh, all sorts of weird pictures are put here. Uh, finally, uh, on 16th of July 2008, she, she uh, called me and uh, said you know this uh, love letter which I was writing for a friend and I was taking your help it was actually for you you know so I was helping her write a love letter and then she said but it was for you and I was like whoa what a way to propose and uh, that's how <laughs> she tricked me Tri tricky Amruta from Trikistan <laughs> yeah and yeah. then you know uh, it was 16th of July Stani and then um mm -hmm. on uh, 17th of or 18th of july i left for mangalore 19th of july the tournament began and so basically her proposal after that we played a tournament together and there we both played amazingly well and that's when we realized you know uh, sometimes people used to think oh you know having a relationship is bad for your chess but here we were playing really well so we continued and so the final question here Stanny for you is do you have a girlfriend yeah yeah oh me <coughs> not yet because because I'm very busy with presidential work so I have to take care of my <laughs> look at Stanny look at Stanny he's so calm and cool he doesn't even break into a sweat I was like Stanny you would be yeah. saying Mm, uh, no, I don't have one. You, you had, you know your answers. I know, I know. Like, of course, uh, I, I take uh, advices from uh, inspiration from your story, basically. So maybe someday president will find a first lady. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So guys, we'll wait for that day. But uh, until then, Stani, it was a brilliant session today. Very nice, and we'll wait for. 
फोर्थ सेशन थैंक यू वंस अगेन या थैंक्स एवरीवन थैंक्स टू ऑल द जीएम ए वंस अगेन वंस अगेन स्टैनी स्टैनी ललित सेस ललित सेस आंसर इज यस टू द क्वेश्चन व्हेदर स्टैनी हैज अ गर्लफ्रेंड और नॉट I I think he's talking about himself <laughs> not me. <laughs> okay guys what's the what's the closing word our general word you have to type what is okay this Sagar. is this is welcome so this this is yeah this is greeting yeah you greet a yeah. new person but uh, before signing off what's the word so what's the last word you say always before leaving <laughs> Abhijit Gupta says tricky guy so he has obviously has to give a tricky answer <laughs> <laughs> Abhijit we have a standard uh, signing off word in uh, our country so and i have yeah, thought everyone of says probably Ajay Beradia says may the tricks be with you fantastic guys you remember bff oh. jashan as well so stani the last word f- from you before yes. we end the stream May the tricks be with you all. See you. Bye.